vlog. It's been ages. <laughs> it's been so long. I feel like it's going to take me a while to like get into the swing of doing this. I think it's been like two months and I really didn't, I mean, you just can't plan for life sometimes. And I realised I needed to cut back on some of the things that I was doing. Like there was lots of other work things happening. I've launched a book club since the last time I vlogged. We've got an online book club for the Story Social. So there's just been a lot of things going on, but it's the 30th of April. Today is the first day in spring where we've had a forecast that's like clear blue skies, sunshine, and proper spring weather. So I was like, I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm making the most of it today. The fact that I'm self-employed, I'm gonna rejig things around. And I thought I'd just bring you along for a wholesome day. I've done a couple of little bits on my laptop this morning, like emails and things that I had to get done. And I just basically thought I'd bring you along for the day. I've got to take a couple of bits to the post office. One of them being some wedding guest dresses from Nobody's Child. And I thought I'd quickly show you them before I do, because I think one of them I'm gonna rent from there but I wanted to like get it and try it basically. This is the dress I've decided to go for and I'm actually going to rent this from Nobody's Child so you can buy it from them new. I think that it is, yeah it's £120, this is the Maxine dress in the green obviously and um, they've got a couple of different colours in this and yeah this is what I'm going to wear but I'm going to rent it so I'm going to send this back. I got another one which is pretty much the same but it's just like a thicker material and it's in a navy blue and yeah I mean, I think this is what I'm going to wear. I've got one other final option that is a dress that I already have. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure on it now. So yeah, just in case you're also going to weddings this year and you're like, what am I going to wear? You know, you don't want to buy something that, that is just going to sit in your wardrobe. Nobody's child now do rental dresses. Put the washing outside and had a moment of pure gratitude for the fact that it's finally warm enough to wear short sleeves and have the wash and dry outside like it is the simple things but I have missed that so much like I've really missed it and pop to post office there's also a shop close by that does potting mix loads of gardening related bits I'm gonna go in there and grab some bits and then come home and have some lunch I'm making myself some lunch I've got basically a random mix of things I've just put onion garlic black beans paprika and a little bit of passata in a pan so I'm gonna have that and hope that it, yeah, it's thickening up a little bit. I'm gonna have some sourdough and some avocado with it and maybe an egg because I'm just, I've been really bored with lunches because I went through a phase of having soups and stews and like the slow cooker phase. And now we're getting into the warmer weather. I just don't really know what to have. I feel like it's not quite salad season yet, but also like we're in that strange in-between phase. So yeah, I thought I'd make up. One of the main reasons really that I've not been uploading on here or have the time to is because I have started an online book club with a friend. So this book club started out as completely in person. There was never the intention of taking it online. And then it just, it sold out within like 20 minutes of putting the tickets live. And we just thought it feels so nice to, first of all, have that accountability when it comes to reading fiction and being like introduced to different types of books but also the element of community that comes with that. So yeah, we now have a sub stack. So if you want to join us and read the same books that we read in person, but come to the online club, then yeah, it's now open. You can join us. I'll leave a link in the description box. We actually did an introductory call on Sunday. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box because that kind of goes through everything there is to know about the book club. But essentially we meet once a month on Zoom and um, yeah, we chat about the book that we've read that month and, you know, kind of get everyone's opinions, see what everyone thinks. And one thing I found really nice about this is it is a really open space to share your thoughts. Um, yeah, and it's just been really lovely, even as obviously I'm hosting it with a friend, but even just kind of seeing that dynamic between other people and being able to share my own things with it, it's just been really rewarding. So yeah, if you've been wanting to join a book club, I, um, I mean, obviously, I recommend Story Social. Just went outside and it's actually got really windy, so I'm just gonna repot all of these in here and save myself having to clean up loads of soil and compost flying around everywhere. But basically, it's mostly tomato plants that I've got here that I need to repot because, as you can see, you might not be able to see actually, but I used these, they're basically compostable, um, same material as what like a toilet roll holder would be. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, some of the roots are coming out of the bottom, so I need to repot these now into something a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I need to go and grab, what do I need here? I need to go and grab my pots, they're outside. And then also my Cosmos, 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 I think it's Cosmos. They're starting to grow nicely as well. And again, I can see some of the roots there, but not too much. I think I'm gonna leave these in here a little bit longer. But yeah, for the others, they need repotting. So I am actually using pots from last year. A lot of the times I found garden centers will just have these for free. So I'm gonna pop these up into here just so they've got more room to continue to grow. Just gonna check them all. Ideally, these need to be washed out. Oh, so I might go and do that as well. Some of these tomato plants as well, I just grew them in old toilet holes. And they've worked well, but obviously you can see it needs more room to grow. So I'm gonna repot all of these. And hopefully in a couple of months time, I'm gonna have loads of fresh tomatoes. I've had a bit of a weird start to the year in that I've just felt a little bit low at times. Um, like my mental health hasn't been great. I feel like I am kind of coming through that now, but starting things from seed back in like February, just really helped to ground me and seeing things change and grow every single day really was a good reminder in the fact that nothing is permanent and things are constantly evolving and changing and yeah it's really got me into it um so if you're looking for something therapeutic to do or just feel like you need a way to feel more grounded in the season that you're in or day-to-day -day life and just want to have something that gives you a sense of hope i honestly feel like this is it because yeah I mean, obviously there's lots of other things you can do, but it's just really helped me. Like coming downstairs and going into the kitchen in the morning and seeing that like my seedlings have started to come up or that the plant looks completely different. You know, it's a really small thing, but it's actually just really brought a lot of joy into my days. It's still nice and sunny, so I'm going to go outside and read, hopefully for like half an hour to an hour for the first time this year. This is the first time that I'll be doing that because it's been warm enough to. Um, the book that I'm reading at the minute is Soothe, all to do with nervous system regulation. I'm really enjoying it so far, actually. This area of work around nervous system regulation and feeling more at ease in your body and just getting to know your body I am really interested in and I just find fascinating. So yeah, I'm gonna read that, I've got my cup of tea. I've actually already read the fiction book club pick for May, which is Yellow Face. So I think that I'm gonna to listen to that as an audiobook just so I've got a refresh of the book club while I'm on holiday. But I need another fiction book recommendation. So if you have anything that you've read recently that you really enjoyed, please let me know in the comments. I have seen a lot of people speak about Green Dot and I'm really drawn to that, so I might end up picking that up for my holiday, but I think it's still in hardback, which puts me off. But yeah, I'm gonna go outside, read this, and just feel the sun on my skin. It's a little bit later now, it's 20 past four. I actually ended up having I mean, it wasn't quite a nap because I wasn't fully asleep, but you know when you're in that really nice space between being asleep and being awake? I ended up doing that in the garden and it was just, it was really nice. And actually a really big reminder for me on how far I've come in terms of just allowing myself to do that. Honestly, the version of me from like 2022 that was working 60 hours a week and really even the thought of that just wouldn't cross my mind. A Substack and a reel last week about self-development books and how sometimes in the past I've really not used them with the best intentions and it's always been about this idea of fixing myself and I really feel like as well I'm in a different place with that too. I think I've kind of gone through this weird thing of everything about being in the pursuit of perfection that I just cut everything off and now I'm in a place where I'm like slowly re-adding things back into my life. So I'm doing more of my yoga. I'm resting more. 
and just listening to what I need, like going back to this idea of thinking, what is it? Or asking myself the question, what do I actually need in this moment? Something else that I've realized is the power of embodying the person that you want to be, even if you don't feel like you're there yet. And I feel like I've done this a little bit in the past, but for me, like I want to feel a lot calmer and more at ease. That's a big thing for me in my life. So every single day I'm leading with this intention that I'm going to show up as a calmer person. And actually it is kind of working and just kind of thinking about feeling calmer, feeling healthier, kind of like within my body, linking back to the nervous system stuff. It's just being really supportive to help me make choices that are good for me and align with that intention every single day. So yeah, <laughs> just a random spiel about, I guess, kind of where I'm at and what's been helping me. Just that kind of thinking in the morning, how do I want to show up today? And usually it is in a calm way. I just want to feel calm and at ease and content. Good morning. It's now actually Thursday, so we've skipped a day, but nothing happened yesterday. Nothing that was noteworthy happened. So I just thought, actually, I'm going to vlog this morning and tag this on to Tuesday. I am at that part of the week, I mean, I reached it yesterday, where I just need to get out of the house and explore and have different surroundings. So this morning, I'm going to go to my local park and I'm I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there's still some wild garlic there because there was on Sunday, but it's the smallest patch and I feel like it could quite easily have all gone. But I'm going to go there and hopefully then that is dinner for this evening sorted because I can just make a wild garlic pesto from it. Kind of outside of this week, I've been thinking a lot about what direction I want my life to go in and something that I speak about this so much, but the, the sense of connection, community and just being around like-minded people is something that I really need in my life. I guess I'm quite extroverted in that sense of just needing other people to bounce off of and I miss it. I really, really miss it. And I don't know what the solution is right now because I don't think that I want to go back to like working in an office or work for someone else. I think maybe even outside of work, I just want to have new experiences, not even like push myself out of my comfort zone, just do and try new things and challenge myself a little bit. So yes, that is something I'm thinking about a lot. I'd love to know like, are there any hobbies that you have that are completely separate from work, but you feel like you're constantly learning with and it teaches you things about yourself. That's what I feel like I'm missing. Obviously I've started reading more fiction because of the book club, which I'm loving, like I'm really enjoying getting lost in these different worlds. And yesterday actually, I picked up the Handmaid's, Handmaid's Tale or Handmaid's Tale? It's over there. Anyway, I picked up that book, Margaret Atwood, very famous. And I haven't read any of these classics before, so I'm just going back and reading them. And so far I am hooked. I'm only like 40 pages in, but I'm already excited to read that. So reading has definitely become a big hobby for me. I don't know. I just want a little bit more of variety and like a challenge in my life. I feel like I just need to like meet my edge. You know, when you do something that feels so wildly different and you're like, I can't believe that I've been able to do that. That is what I feel like I need. <laughs> um, yeah, I am going camping this weekend. I'm doing two nights camping with Jay, my brother and his girlfriend, which I'm so excited about. He messaged me yesterday about it and I was like, this has come at the perfect time because I've just needed something that is a little bit out of my routine, to be back in nature, just, yeah, random spiel. But I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna come on here and be honest and share how I'm currently thinking and feeling because self-employed life is great. I love the flexibility that it gives me, but also it can leave you feeling quite lonely and displaced. Anyway, I did get my day off to a really nice start and I did a meditation, did some pranayama practice and meditation with the yoga studio where I teach, where I did all of my training. So. That was really lovely. And I think I might bring you along for the rest of the day. I think this afternoon I might go and work from a coffee shop just to kind of, again, break up my environment and hopefully feel a little bit more creative. Um, 
yeah let's go let's go out I'm so glad that I went for that walk. It was so nice. And I couldn't believe how much wild garlic there was left. There was so much more. Because I'd originally, basically my neighbour had let me know that there was some wild garlic there. So I went to one spot and I thought that was it. There was so much more. There was so much of it there. And it's nice because obviously now I know for next year that I can go there. So I've just washed it all and I'll let that dry off a little bit. And then later I'll leave a link actually to the recipe that I'm going to use. I think it's a Nigella recipe. It's half 12 and I'm going to make up my wild garlic pesto so it's just done and ready for later. All that I've done to begin with is obviously rinse off all of the wild garlic I've put it in here. And then basically all that you add is a fair bit of olive oil. There is quite a lot of olive oil in this. I add pine nuts to mine but you don't have to. And then also parmesan again if you're vegan maybe looking at an alternative to what that could be. And then when it comes to making it into more of a sauce when i cook the pasta later i'll keep a little bit of the sauce back and just sort of add to it and keep whizzing it up until it all looks good when i did this i'm going to insert a picture actually of how it looked when it was done because i did it on sunday i made the mistake of putting in an extra garlic clove thinking that this wouldn't taste that strong you do not need any garlic cloves if you're using the leaves you don't need to add any additional garlic. So yeah, um, and then I'll add some seasoning into it as well, but that's basically it. So I'm just gonna put everything in here, use my hand blender to whiz it all up. And then that is the sauce for tonight's dinner sorted. I'm actually just gonna toast some of the pine nuts that I'm adding to this. When I did this the other day, I just, it by it and didn't really measure anything i found a nigella recipe so i used that as like a base to know the kind of things that i needed but then i just added things based on the consistency of it and that seemed to work quite well i've made this into a bit of a paste it's quite thick at the minute so I'll basically just leave this now until later. And then when I come to cook the pasta, I'll just use a little bit of that sauce and add it in. And actually looking at this, this will be more than enough for the both of us tonight to have with pasta. And then I'll top it off with a little bit of parmesan and then the leftover pine nuts. I'll um, cook those off a little bit. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. And that's ready for later. On the agenda for me now this afternoon, is to go and do a little bit of work from a coffee shop, just a couple of emails, a little bit of planning and writing. I'm actually going on holiday at the end of this month, so I'm just gonna get ahead a little bit and sort that out. Um, and then after that, I think I'm gonna come home and relax. I've got the monthly journaling club that I'm hosting this evening. Our theme for May is all about space and thinking about how we can create space in our lives for the things that fill up our cups, make us feel good. Um, but also as well thinking about what we need to let go of to make space for something new um, and yeah just exploring the theme of space so there's going to be a lot about that this month on the Substack. I'm really trying to just experiment with how I want to show up on there um, and yeah I'm introducing a little bit more of a monthly theme. I've done it quite consistently for the journaling club but not actually creating direct post about the theme for the month so yeah I'm gonna make a start on that. Thank you for spending a day and a half with me. <laughs> um, it's actually been really nice to vlog and I'm glad that I did this. So 
yeah thank you for being here for watching um i am actually going camping this weekend and i'm tempted to vlog that i'm just really looking forward to having two days two nights um out in nature we're going to the peak district so that'll be really nice but yes i hope you all have a lovely bank holiday the weekend this is going out on the sunday um and yeah subscribe if you want more videos and i will see you in the next one